Bianca. Hi, come on in. Um, I, I told Laura that I would bring her homework. Yeah. Leo, what are you doing here? Uh, uh, he forgot his wallet. Did you find it? Uh, right here. <sighs> That's good. You know, since you're having breakfast at BJ's. Uh, yeah, that's, uh, yeah, that's right. Break uh, you know what? I am so hungry. So I'm going to take off. Bye, Binky Boo Boo. What's with him? I don't know. A little blood sugar, I guess. Is Laura up? I wanted to show her these. Oh, these. The... European brochures. Yeah, I figured that um, rail passes are probably the best bet. That way we can see as many places as we want. Mm -hmm. I was thinking we could do some kind of like 20 cities in 20 days kind of thing. You're really set on this, aren't you? Yeah. It may be our only chance. I mean, with Laura starting school in the fall, she might not have a summer free to do this again. No, I understand. It's just that We'll have to talk about uh, Laura, you know, and and if she's going to be able to make this trip to Europe. But she's okay, right? I mean, they let her home from the hospital, so she must be doing better. Hey, Laura. Did you just get up? Yes. Oh, so Leo, where are you out? Oh, Hi, Bianca. Last night was so incredible. Leo was... Perfect. <laughs> Erica, you know that Bianca and Laura were planning to go to Europe together. What are you trying to protect Bianca from, Laura? Oh, Jack, you, you don't understand. I think maybe I do. I don't think you're trying to protect Bianca from anything. I think maybe you're trying to avoid a situation you don't want to deal with. Honey, why don't you just let the girl live her life? You know, Jack, I would expect this kind of attack from Brooke, but certainly not from This you. is not an attack. This is damn good advice. And I thought you and Brooke had a truce. I mean, yeah, I thought so, too. I even tried to help her. I told her about three of the best cardiac facilities in all of Europe, and what she just threw to my face. In Europe? You've got a renowned cardiologist right here in Pine Valley. Why would you want her to take Laura... To Europe. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. You wouldn't be so desperate to get Laura out of Bianca's life that you would send a sick child halfway around the world. What do you take me for? Laura's health was my only concern. And you're sure about that? Jack, Laura may not recover. What do you mean, Laura may not recover? Her heart is too damaged. She needs a transplant. Oh, dear God. I can't believe it. I'm afraid it's true. <sighs> Bianca and Laura were looking so forward to that trip. Oh, there won't be a trip. Does Bianca know about this? She knows that uh, a virus attacked Laura's heart, but she doesn't know that Laura is dying. Well, I guess I owe you an apology. I'm sorry I misjudged you. I know that you're just looking out for Bianca. I know that. Well, I'm gonna go see Brooke, see if I can do anything. No, 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 you can't do that. Because Brooke doesn't want this to get out. What about Laura? Laura doesn't know that she needs a transplant. Brooke hasn't told her? No, she's waiting to get a donor first. Oh, my God, that can take months. It can take even longer. But she's going to keep it from her until then. Jack, the odds that Laura would even survive the transplant are not very good. So let me see if I've got this right. You and Brooke have decided to keep all of this a secret from your daughters. Well, I am not on the witness stand, Mr. Prosecutor. Thank you very much. And please do not judge me, Jack. Bianca has suffered enough tragedy in her life, don't you think so? I mean, she's still grieving for the loss of, of her father. And I don't want to have to have to see.
see her witness the death of someone else that she... Loves? Loves. Loves is the word you're looking for. Erica, listen to me, please. How do you think Bianca's gonna feel when she realizes that you took her away from her closest friend when that friend needed her the most? Well, I'm hoping that the trip will, will soften the blow for Bianca if Laura doesn't make it. Let me tell you something. Your daughter is a mature, sensitive young woman, and she can handle anything that Laura has to face. Now, I know you think you're doing what's best for her. But, honey, where do you think Bianca gets her strength and that big heart of hers, huh? I just feel so helpless, Jack. Come here, you. Let's just pray to God that Laura lives a long, long time. I've never been to a castle. <laughs> Is there anything more romantic? Oh, yeah, all those moats and dungeons and towers where people waited to get their heads cut off. No, I mean like fairy tales. Sleeping Beauty, Rapunzel, Prince Charming. Oh, man. You got it bad, don't you? No, I got it worse than bad. Hey, what if Leo came with us? I really don't think that Leo is the backpacking kind of guy. <laughs> Still, can you imagine traveling through Europe with someone you love? Last night, Leo put up all these decorations and goofy candles. It was like we were the only people in the world. The sound of his heartbeat is the most beautiful thing I've ever heard. Leo was uh, more like a troll than a prince when I got here this morning. Leo was here? Mom, why, why didn't you tell me? Well, he forgot his wallet and he just didn't want to wake you. Did, did, did he say anything about last night or is he coming back? Should I call him? I don't think so. Uh, Bianca, help yourself. Oh, thanks. I can't wait to see Leo again. Breakfast first. <sighs> Gruel. Eat. Eat. It's a good thing I'm in love. Bianca, will you make sure that she eats at least half of that? I have to go. I, I, I thought you were working from home today. I've got a couple of errands to run, but if you need anything, the housekeeper will be here very soon. Hey, are you sure Leo didn't say anything else? Yes, he said stay out of trouble. I think there's some donuts in the kitchen. Hey, hey, one donut's not gonna kill me. You know what, Mr. McKinney's gonna kill me if I don't get to study all soon. No, 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 don't go, don't go. You have to hear about every single fabulous, amazing moment that happened with Leo last night. Laura, why don't you tell me after school? No, just blow off study hall. Laura, I, I would love to. Then do. I... Come on, I want to go to the beach. I'm going to be out of school in two weeks. We can go to the beach every day. I want to go today. Come on, we can catch some rays. We'll build sand castles like this one. How can you say no? I, I should. Do you see the sky? Do you feel how warm the sun is? There's never going to be another day like today. Come on, just don't waste it. Spend this day with me, Bianca. Or is it just because I'm in love? <sighs> I want to wrap this day up and save it forever. Laura, are you sure that you should be out here? I mean, you're not supposed to be overdoing it. Oh, oh I want to overdo it. I want to run and jump and <laughs> I want to go swimming. <laughs> Get real. Do you know how cold the water is? So what? I should go swimming and and I I should eat donuts and fall in love and see castles. I don't want to miss anything, Bianca. I can't. 
can't. You won't. Laura, we're gonna do all that stuff and more. You promise? He's the best friend I ever had. All right, I'll race you to the buoy. No, no, you, you can't, please. It's really not good. Oh, no, come on, come on, I'll just blow. You're crazy. And you're chicken. Come on. around me and through me. It was like, it was alive. Did you feel that? Laura, you didn't... I mean, you're not on something, are you? No. No, this high is strictly Leo in life. <sighs> Your lips are like a really funky purple. We should get going. Uh, do you want me to warm up the car? No, 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 not yet. All right, if your mom finds no, out... let's go again. What? Come on. <sighs> Laura, we're gonna have all summer to go swimming. It's a lot more fun when the water is, is warm and the sun is hot. Okay, let's go home. No. here. 